sewing friends. It's Erin Van Handel from Z Mocked Sewing Blog and today we are going to talk more about underwear. So let's get it underway. Are the high-waisted simplicity undies the Madeline ones 8229? I'm going to start putting the fold-over elastic on the legs and the waist. And I'm really hoping that my lack of alignment here at the crotch isn't a big issue. I think I may need to, to get better alignment. Well, we'll see how the leg elastic goes on. Maybe the leg uh, elastic will hide a number of sins, such as edges. That don't meet. Um, but if it turns out that it does really matter that everything is like super aligned, I may need to do like some glue stick basting or maybe just a, just a line of um, basting from my sewing machine to make sure everything is aligned before I surge it. I am going to just trim off this little uneven bit. I'm gonna have to concentrate more on using the rotary cutter than on the camera for a hot second here, so. That's pretty straight. And I'm gonna do it to the other side. And in case you were wondering, I basted the crotch lining in place because I just knew with this really slinky fabric that um, when I was sewing the leg fold over elastic, that if this wasn't tacked down, um, that it was going to be very hard to make sure that everything was even. Progress update. So... I used the shiny side with like turquoise thread for the waistband and then for the uh, leg band I did turquoise with a blue thread. So I kind of have a little, tried to kind of make the stuff um, match, the fold over elastic kind of match and coordinate to some degree. Um, as I'm looking at these undies, they look huge to me, but it's it's really hard to tell how underpants are going to be until you put them on. So we will see. If you've been reading z for any amount of time, you know that I have had beef with z -Mark. And it continues. Here are the pattern pieces for the Geneva underpants. Here's the crotch. It's the crotch lining, crotch lining for all versions. There are three views for this pattern. And just watch, I'm sewing the small, watch how this stuff lines up or doesn't line up. Looking at the instructions, like this top part, I'll insert a screen cap of what I'm talking about. The top of the lining is basically straight. It doesn't have this weird little angle, which makes sense because what you're going to do is come along here with elastic and you're not going to want this like goofy little corner. I don't know why. I don't know why that's there. Um, that's annoying. Good morning. I finished these Geneva underpants yesterday night. Sewed the fold over elastic on them. There's my pretty kitty Lily who's purring. And I am going to wear these today after I take a shower. Um, 
Yeah. So I can't remember if I talked about this, but what I did, these were the ones where the crotch pattern, the crotch liner pattern was kind of jacked up. So what I ended up doing was just cutting across. Oh, Lily, I know you need the love. What I ended up doing was just cutting across um, to make it straight instead of having like that weird angle or whatever um, at the top and then it would just be like all loose and weird. So we'll see how that treats me. We have wood siding on our house and woodpeckers love it. And we've had woodpeckers living in the siding of our house hear that tapping. I literally can feel them tapping. This is not a good thing because it's an expensive thing to fix. I love woodpeckers. I love birds and animals in general. This is not cool. Working on my final underpants muslin, the Megan Nielsen Acacia pants, and I really like how they came together. The um, crotch lining and I guess the outer part of the crotch, um, you do like the burrito method, and all of those like crotch seams are enclosed. Let me show you what that looks like. This is the outside of the panty. Um, and here is that crotch seam. This isn't the prettiest looking seam. Also, I went a little bit rogue when it came to cutting um, the stripes. So the stripes are a little bit cattywampus. Doesn't really matter. This is muslin, also underpants. Um, I did get a little bit off right there, but the Seams here are enclosed. Isn't that slick? So clever. Real quick here. I finished the Megan Nielsen Acacia panties yesterday. And I really like how they came together. The crotch with the, um, where the, with the hidden seams, concealed seams, I think is really slick. Um, it seems just like a very high-end feature to me. I'm not sure I've ever had a pair of undies that had that. You know, most of them have where the front part of the crotch lining is just open. Um, I haven't tried these on yet, actually. I probably will wear them sometime this week. And eventually I will report out in a blog post how... I found wearing the different underpants. So stay tuned for that. As you can see, I'm finished stitching my three pairs of underpants. The next thing I have to do is I'm going to wear each of them for a day just to kind of uh, get a sense for how they work with my body and um, you know, make notes on any uh, mods I'd want to make for future pairs. Then I need to decide which pattern I like most and uh, I'm going to order up a bunch of black knit to make a, just a buttload of black undies. And in case you missed it before, the reason I'm making black undies is because I want to wear them during my period week. Black undies equal no stains. So there you go. Let's talk about some notable social media posts from the past couple of weeks. The first thing that caught my eye is this beautiful uh, dress from the blog The Telltale Tasha. I think this would be a tremendous the transitional weather dress. I love how uh, it, th I think the fullness of the skirt is beautiful. I love the deep V. The sleeves, the poofy sleeves, I think are super charming. And in looking at that dress, 
I could see it being very comfortable for fall or for spring. Or if you wanted to make that a winter dress, you could make the sleeves longer, you could make the skirt longer. Um, I think the the thing that makes it so vertic uh, vertical, the thing that makes it so versatile is the deep V, where you may have like a lot of other skin covered, but that deep V really keeps it from becoming kind of matronly. This tutorial from following the thread is a great way to use up those itty bitty little fabric scraps you um, have, uh, I'm sure at the end of every project. Um, she uses it to make a little teeny tiny desk bunting, she calls it, but I think this would be super sweet to, you know, if you got really ambitious, you could do like a Christmas tree, or if maybe you have like a little mini Christmas tree for your kiddos, you could, you know, you, this probably would be a fun uh, project to do with kids, but you could, you know, add the bunting. Um, I'm just a sucker for bunting and I really like colorful um, decorations. So you could have scraps of lots of different colors and patterns and I think it would be super charming. I got into this post from Couturius. Uh, it's a roundup of pretty simple sewing, get sewn gifts you can give this holiday season. Um, and the reason it stuck in my head was because it reminded me a bit of the post I wrote about how to sew Christmas gifts on deadline and without basically losing your mind. So um, if you're looking for something to sew, check out this post and then maybe you could refer to my post for how to put together a timeline that uh, will be sane in your world. My final social media item of note is this amazing sheath dress from the Twilight Stitcher. Uh, I didn't realize this when I looked at the dress and I think I came across this dress on I think I came across it on patternreview.com and then I went to the Twilight Stitcher site to dive into it further because I was just like, what? What is going on here? So this dress, um, it looks kind of tweedy. It's a plaid. Um, it's sequins. That fabric is like plaid sequin. Um, and it, it just blew my mind that, uh, that they're like that this fabric is a thing like plaid sequins what and it looks so beautiful as this sheath dress it's just so unexpected so those are my picks for this installment of work in progress i hope you check them out and um, give those sewists some love um, and until next time take care and happy stitching